What if I said to you that one simple action that only takes five seconds every day could help not just your garden, but the enjoyment that you get from your garden and your gardening? Well, today I'm going to share something that I do and show you the true power of it. And it's something that almost anyone can do. Hey everyone, how's it going? And welcome back. One of the brilliant and occasionally frustrating things about gardening is that everything is changing all of the time. Well, actually, I suppose that's not just gardening, that's everything in life. So you'll have heard me before recommending using one of these, a garden journal to record things you do, like when you sow different seeds and when, or when and how, and how much of a harvest you get from a particular vegetable. Well, I want to advocate for what I think is an even better thing to do. This isn't some kind of productivity hack about getting up that little bit earlier or dividing up your workload a certain way or buying that must have bit of gear. It's actually way easier and so much more fun. So to begin with, let's skip back to 2016. Nearly six years ago now, I watched a TED talk by someone called Cesar Kuriyama and Everything I'm going to talk about today has been inspired by him, and I have to credit and thank him for that. He created a TED Talk, and I'll link that TED Talk down below if you want to watch it. In a nutshell, he realised that aged 30, although he could remember some standout things from his life, he couldn't actually remember every single day. So he began recording one second of video every day. And then he found something incredible. When he watched those video clips back, it was like he was right back in that very moment. Now, I watched this video and instantly fell in love with the idea. So I started to do exactly the same, except that I recorded five seconds of video each day because I find one second just that little bit too short. I started recording video clips every single day from places I visited. to doing things with my friends and family. My dogs. Even mundane quiet moments. Things I do in the garden. even times when I was cross or frustrated. I haven't stuck to it every single day and I have had periods where I've stopped altogether, mainly just out of laziness, but I did find the exact same thing as Caesar. As soon as the clip starts to play, it's blown me away quite how well it works at putting me right back into that moment. But better than that, what I found was that it drove me to seek out new things to film. It made me do more things, it made me see more things, it made me see more people. And what I have now is this precious collection of moments from my life. But you can actually take this idea and apply it to your garden as well. I have, and actually it's amazing. So what am I asking you to do? Well, that's where these come in, either a camera or even better, a smartphone, because most of us have one and it's convenient. You don't need a pen or paper or a book. And crucially, you normally have it in your pocket or your handbag. And that means you'll always be able to go to it. So what I want you to do is just hit record every day for five seconds. Now, this isn't about brilliant video or perfect audio. It's not about Facebook or YouTube or Instagram or sharing it with your friends. It's just about recording something for the future. It's your diary, your garden journal, and most importantly, your rules. Video yourself, for instance, sowing some seeds or when you spot the first one germinating like I did last year. Record planting out things and compare how they get on as you do the same each year record when something you've planted comes into bloom, 
or record the first grass cut of the year if you're feeling virtuous, or even just record something that's gone wrong, a mistake or failure, so that you can look back and learn from it. Now, that's all very well I hear you say, but I can also hear you asking, why do it? Well, here's why I really think this is a valuable thing to do. Intentional observation is a really powerful thing that should not be underestimated when it comes to gardening. That act of just consciously going out each day, looking, thinking, all of that will drive you to naturally notice more. Then as you start to notice more, you see more than just the start and the end, like a seed germinating and getting the harvest. Instead, you notice all of the changes and the evolution in between and it serves as a really powerful record of your gardening year. Over the last couple of years, I've realized that this channel has given me the opportunity to record so much here in the garden, but equally, I know that making YouTube episodes is considerably more work than most people would want to do each week. But just lifting out your phone and grabbing a quick clip of something is so easy and speedy, like getting a quick clip of the broad beans as they're coming up, and you will be amazed at the collection of videos you're going to amass and what you can use it for. You can use it on a practical level just to remember what you sowed and when, like this, because your videos are going to be dated and organized automatically. You can use it to remember successes and failures, beautiful things to look back on, and even things just to look back on on those really dull days when you're stuck inside and you'd rather be outside gardening. I had said that recording these little snippets actually drove me to do more stuff and interact with more people in my own life. So the same is 100% true when it comes to your garden. Take a tiny corner that's maybe a little bit messy, like here, weed it for two or three minutes and then record that nice clean spot and you've achieved something. Go and look at a patch of snowdrops in a corner of your garden that you can't see maybe from your living room sofa and it's got you up and outside into the garden and the fresh air. Go to a garden that might have inspiring planting ideas and record them in video. All of it naturally drives you to do more, but not in the same way as a to-do list drives you to do more by making it feel like work. Just think, if you took five seconds of video every day for a year and watched it back, you would have a year's worth of progress in your garden in a little over 30 minutes. And then imagine that compounding year after year. Just imagine the beautiful record of your garden's life and your life in the garden. Because gardening is more than just about growing things. It's about experiences, emotions, sharing things with people, savoring successes. It's actually really good. It's really, really good. Yes! Learning from your mistakes and failures. No. And of course, seeing something develop thanks to the hard graft that you put in. So given all that, why not do it and yourself the justice of recording it? Give it a try and see for yourself. I think you're going to love it. And speaking of videos that I think you're gonna love, why not check out this video next? Now that's what I call a smooth segue into a plug for another video, isn't it? And until next time, see you later.